the topic that we will be discussing in addition to the lessons that are already that have already been uploaded but the topic um will you trust god to handle home your marriage your children your family whatever that looks like while you're taking care of kingdom business I'll say that again. Will you trust God to take care of your home, to handle your home? Home can be any of the above, but will you trust God to take care of your home while you are out handling kingdom business? Either way, you will get emails um, ahead of time uh, as far as what date, what time, and the Zoom link for you guys to hop on if you are available. I don't know if it's going to be recorded. So before you inbox me and say, is it going to be recorded? You know, can I just catch the replay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so there it is. <laughs> Instant conviction. Um, my message today was saying to... Uh, to walk in this season with intentionality. So you guys got to be intentional. If I just say, oh, I'll just, you know, you could just catch the replay of it. Like Holy Spirit is, he's really pressuring many of you, not in a bad way, but in a way to make you be more aware, make you hold yourself accountable, make you do your part, um, make you, uh, he's calling you higher. He's calling you forth. He's calling you onto the red carpet. So for some of you, it may seem uncomfortable. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you, it's like you're a walk on water moment. Like P uh, Peter, you're just like, God, if this is you telling me to pursue this, if this is you calling me into this, if this is you telling me to go this way, tell me to come. And all he's saying is come, right? He's not giving you the full blueprint, the full game plan that many of you were used to or that you would prefer. He's shifting things to break you out of your norm. He's um, making you more uncomfortable. These are the things that are going to be required as you guys step into purpose. I am very excited to meet up with all of you, hear your questions, your concerns, even, you know, attacks that you may be dealing with or um issues that you may be dealing with so again make sure you check your emails for that i have not sent the email yet so before you say i didn't get an email for the zoom it hasn't been sent yet but i'm speaking this to you as holy spirit just nudge me to speak about this topic for um handling kingdom business and trusting god to take care of home i hear him saying ways that you were used to moving even things that you were used to how god spoke to you and how god dealt with you and even the grace that god was giving you and things that he was winking at and things that he was overlooking and things that he was covering him telling you to wake up at a certain time you're just like i know i know i gotta get out of my flesh him telling you to pray at a certain time even for those of you that maybe holy spirit has called into a fast um, and you're breaking your fast, you know, and things that he wants graced and he wants covered. You can't move in this season how you used to move. You can't do things the way you used to do it. Um, even some of your routines, God is disrupting that. Maybe he used to have you waking up first thing in the morning. Now he's telling you, you know, pulling you um, into secret prayer time with him during the middle of the day or in the evening before bed like whatever that looks like that's going to look different for each individual person but just again be mindful of how holy spirit is leading you be intentional in this season no more making excuses thank you holy spirit no more um god knows my heart i'm working on it i know i gotta do better like we got to get over the excuses if you're ready to walk into purpose if you're ready to discover your purpose thank you holy spirit if you're ready for god to reveal like details and instructions god's words are too powerful and they will not fall to the ground they will not return to him void they will not fall to the ground so with that being said you can't keep looking for god to give you a new word or give you new instructions or give you new provision give you something new and you haven't been a good steward over what he's been doing before the words he's spoken before you've been tussling with him is god going to do it is he not going to do it did i hear god did i not hear god right like coming into purpose this is a whole nother playing field this is a whole nother classroom this is a whole nother level so certain things that god once entertained while you were standing for your marriage and believing for your marriage i'm not saying god is not doing that but remember for many of you things are shifting but with that being said, you can't go into this season, thank you, Holy Spirit, with last season's eyes. You can't go into this season with last season's wisdom and last season's instructions and last season's um, weapons. Everything is new in this season. So don't come into this season thinking you know everything or thinking you have it all figured out. Because I will tell you this, the more I learn about God, I'm learning that every time I think I have him figured out on a level... He's, he switches it up. 
you know, and it's, it's humbling me, but it also shows me like, don't ever think you have me all figured out. Don't think you have my ways figured out my, the way I confirm things, the way I speak things, um, the way I download things like come into the season, come into this space. Thank you. Holy spirit. Come into his presence like a blank slate. For many of you, the Lord is saying he gave you some instructions in an earlier season that you were doing, some assignments even. He's going to have you take your hands off of that. And you got to be okay if he doesn't tell you why. You got to be okay not knowing if he's going to have you pick it back up. You got to be okay with... um having some speculation there and the Lord may not confirm it, you got to be okay with that. In this season, Holy Spirit is going to make you more uncomfortable because this is what's going to get you into purpose to be able to move and pursue your, thank you, Holy Spirit, your new land, your territory, what belongs to you, what has always been a part of your inheritance. So yes, your marriage portion is still in this new land, but it's not your main focus now. Like let God take care of that right now for those of you this applies to and move in intentionality in this season. Because when we start speaking about purpose, this is why you were born. This is why you were created for a time such as this. This is why you are here now. This is why you were born into this family. This is why you married this man, why you married this woman. This is why you live in this city. This is why you live in a state, whatever. This answers a lot of whys. You are going to learn and discover who you are in the kingdom, who you are as a, as a son of God and as a daughter of God. I've already said enough. But be on the lookout for another email within the next day or so um, as far as the Zoom information because we got some things to talk about.